Hey guys, so today I wanted to try to make natural hydrochloroquine, also known as quinine. Um, it's made with grapefruit and lemon, and it has a ton of medicinal benefits. And like with flu season coming up and with the wonderful, you know what, uh, ravaging our world right now, I wanted to build up an arsenal of sorts of natural remedies that I could use as prophylactic to pretty much avoid getting sick altogether. This was one of the top things on my list, so today we're gonna try it. Some background information about quinine and natural hydrochloroquine. It's antibacterial, it's anti-malarial, antimicrobial, antiparasitic, antiseptic, antiviral, antiarrhythmic, astringent. It's a bactericide, a fungicide, and nervine. It has a ton of medicinal benefits and properties. Definitely do your own research. I've done a thorough amount of research before deciding to do this for us. I encourage you to do the same and then come to your own conclusion. It doesn't take a lot to make it. It's pretty simple. It takes a few hours um, and you only need four ingredients. So let's do this. You're going to need three grapefruit and three lemons. Make sure they are organic. First and foremost, you're gonna to want to clean your citrus. To do so, you're gonna use distilled vinegar and spring water. So we're gonna add some spring water. And then the distilled vinegar. Once everything is clean, you're going to want to peel everything and use only the rinds. Save the inside, eat it with some honey. Grapefruit and lemons are amazing to have around. Now that we've got the skins of the lemons and the grapefruit, we're gonna put them into a nice bowl and fill this bowl up with spring water. You don't want too much water, just about a few inches above the peels. Put it on high heat, get it to a boil, then bring down the heat and let it simmer for about two to three hours. So it has now been three hours and I have let it cool. So now we're gonna take this and pour it into a jar for storage inside of our fridge. Don't mind the label, this is an old jar. So this is our HCQ. I'm going to update the label on this bottle and then keep it in my refrigerator. You can take about a teaspoon a day. And if you're feeling sick, take up to three a day. Don't overdo it, just like with anything else. Monitor your do dosage, don't do too much. And then with your leftover rinds, if you have sugar or honey, you can make marmalade or candy. And that's it, now I have a supply of HCQ for the next at least six months, taking a little bit every day. Thanks for watching, if you found this video helpful, like and follow, uh, share it with your friends. I'll definitely be posting more videos like this with natural remedies, things you can find in your backyard. Thank you for being here, until next time.